Apostle Lorenzo Snow said we could well afford to entertain goodwill and peace toward all mankind. It is for this that we have been called to the position we hold, and this is our mission upon the earth. Jesus came to earth to carry out his Father's will and to do the work of his Father. He, in turn, gave the same mission to his apostles. He glorified his Father, and he told his disciples they must do likewise. He told them they should be hated of all men for his sake. All that we receive of good comes from God, and no man can understand the ways of God but by the Spirit of God. Before the foundation of the world, a system of communication between God and men was established, and in no other way can communication be received from him. The Jews could not, with all their understanding, know that Jesus, the Son of God, was in their midst. Jesus said then, This is eternal life, to know the true and living God, and Jesus Christ, whom he hath sent. On one occasion, when Peter had answered him that he was Christ, the Son of the living God, Jesus said, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed this unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And he also said, Upon this rock of revelation I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. It is to be hoped all the saints today are built upon this rock. It was the principle in ancient days, and it is the principle today upon which the church is founded. The principle of revelation from God. Through this came all of our knowledge and intelligence concerning the things of God, and we receive through it the comforts of the Spirit, which enable us to suffer persecution gladly, looking forward to our eternal exaltation, and ready to suffer and sacrifice all things for the sake of the kingdom of God. By doing the works of God, we glorify God, even as Jesus did, and we know that if we do these works, we shall be rewarded by being raised to his presence and made sharers of his glory. We must be united and act as a unit in building up the kingdom of God. If we refuse to do the works which will make us one, God will find some means to compel us to become one, for except we are one, we are not his. In Missouri, the saints failed to consecrate all their property to the building up of the God's kingdom, and they afterwards had to give it all up to their mob. Let us hope this will not be the case again, but let us keep God's commandments and seek to glorify him in all our acts.